Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer for Friday, the 22nd of May. Particularly warm welcome if this is the first time you're joining us or if you haven't been able to for a while. Everything you need will be appear on the screen and before you. And if you have any comments, please do get in touch with us at barry at hopechurchfamily.org. So let's begin our daily prayer. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Make me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. And we'll say a canticle now, which is the song of Christ's glory, taken from Philippians. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We're going to read Psalm 30 together, a song written for the dedication of the temple. Please join in with me if you'd like, or in alternate verses. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have raised me up and have not let my foes triumph over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you have healed me. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored me to life from among those that go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks to his holy name. For his wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye his favour for a lifetime. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. You, Lord, of your goodness, have made my hill so strong. Then you hid your face from me, and I was utterly dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried. To the Lord, I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me, O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Therefore my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks for ever. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. And now our Bible reading, which is taken from the book of Acts. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd, fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. These people are not drunk, as you suppose. It is only nine in the morning. No, this was what was spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days, God said, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So why don't you pause your video now and have a look at the words that are on the screen.
We're going to turn to prayer now and you'll see in front of you some prompters for you to pray for if you wish or anything that's on your heart at this time. So once again, if you cross your button and then click play when you're ready to resume. So now let's pray that special prayer for today. Grant, we pray you, almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we in heart and mind may also ascend and with him continually dwell, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And let us pray with confidence as our Saviour taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So we're nearly at the end of our time of prayer. I'll just extend an invitation to you all to perhaps join this daily prayer at 12 noon, when you will be joining with me as I commit to praying every day at 12 noon as part of Thy Kingdom Come from Ascension, which was yesterday, to Pentecost on the 21st. You'll be very welcome. So let's finish by saying together, may Christ our Saviour give us peace. Amen.